probably might have come across the trendy texture effects and grainy type of flyer designs that has been coming on these days in this video i'm going to quickly walk you through how to achieve something like that in photoshop in some few steps and this is amina hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so to achieve this grainy texture effect in photoshop the first thing you need to do is you need to download this texture down in the description of this video i'm going to leave some of these textures the ones that i'm using in this video i'm going to leave them in the link in the description if you want to download and use but in case you want to do your own thing also you can quickly just go to google and then search let's see how to do that so you can just come to google and then you put in texture background okay now i realize that this is giving you like different types of textures so you can probably add say a black texture effect or a black texture background to it and you can get something like this so you can use something like this one right over here which is found on freepik now for some of the freepik textures they are free of course so you can go to free pick as well and then you can download any one of these but if you don't want that those ones as well you can go for something like this so unsplash also gives you some more you can right click on this and download this unsplash you can download it for free it's quite simple you can as well browse through a lot of these ones and you can download any one of them that you want it is that very basic that very simple if you want to download from free pick also you can select any one of these provided it is free if it is not free you might have to create an account and pay something before you are able to download it so let's take for instance we want to download this one which is free press on it go to download over here and you can download in any of the sizes that suits you the best now once you've downloaded this it is time to go into photoshop so here in photoshop i have two separate flyers that i'm going to use to illustrate this to you the first one is a church flyer that i created somewhere last year and this rhythm and flutes kind of pop flyer that i also created now if you look at this flyer very carefully you can see that the texture has been applied on it if i turn on this particular layer this is the texture layer if i turn it off you can see it is very raw and very smooth okay but when i turn it on it gives you this beautiful amazing look now let's see how we can do the grainy effect on this church flyer and then we'll do the texture effect on the pop flyer to achieve this effect make sure that you group all your layers into one layer to do that you're going to press ctrl shift and then e and make sure that it is on top of the very first layer okay and that layer shouldn't be hidden for instance if you hide this effect layer and then you try to do the control shift alt e it is going to reflect on top here it is not going to reflect because the layer you want to create it on top it's not visible so you make sure that all the layers are visible and then you can press control shift e to put it on top the next thing you want to do from here is you right click and then you can create or convert this to a smart object you should do this to save you time in case later you want to transfer this effect that you're about to apply to another flyer I'll explain later in this video. Now, the next thing you do is you make sure that your foreground color is set to a color, not don't leave it white. You can put it to any color. And in most cases, you make sure that you use the dominant color in this or in the flyer that you are using. So you realize from here that I'm, there are a lot of blues, dark blues and cyan's in this. So I decided to go for a bit of cyan or a bit of blue. And then you can click OK. Right after the the next thing you want to do is you go to filter and then filter gallery so for this one we want to click on the texturizer over here we'll add texturizer later in this video i was just using it but the most important one that you add to this is the green so we are going to choose green over here and you can see the effect right off here in fact this one alone is able to do a lot of the things so you choose the grain over here let me scroll down a little bit and you can see it, the grain is applied on all the images and all now you can decrease the intensity if you don't want it too much so you pick the intensity over here and you can decrease it slightly if you put it to zero of course you're going to have it like the normal flyer that you brought in now you want to increase the intensity some more so that we can see the greens a little bit okay and you can as well increase the contrast or decrease it depending on how you want it so 
going to increase it slightly and the green type let's leave it at regular but of course if you want to explore the other ones these are some of the ones soft sprinkle don't want this one clumped is too not good contrasting so of course let's stick to either regular or soft these two should work for you but a regular of course keeps the original design so let's leave it like this if you click on ok over here you can see that if you zoom in you are going to see the greens on it a little bit now let me turn this off as against the original flyer okay so you can see the greens has been added to it which makes this super simple very straightforward okay but of course you can add some more greens to this okay so with the same layer let's go back to filter and to the filter gallery and we can add some greens to it again so you can use the new effects layer over here let's add one more and we can go to say uh, let's choose reticulation this reticulation also adds a bit of effect you can increase the density or you can decrease it and let's add one more layer i just want to show you how this actually works so we can add a texturizer as well and we can also increase or decrease the scaling okay so these all adds some sort of effect to the flyer it is that very basic that very simple now once you do it like this you'd realize that this whole thing has changed and it's picking the colors right here that is why i said you choose the colors that you want and in case you have it like this you can just simply go to your blend mode and then you can set this to a soft light i don't really like using this one in essence because it sort of makes or changes the whole design though you can still see the greens in it but i don't really like using the texturizer and the reticulation and all i simply love to use my greens but in case you are doing other flyers that these texturizer reticulation and other effects that you have in there works out for you you can of course use it but if you want to keep it very simple you just add the greens besides it's the greens that you want to see so you just add the greens and you are good to go now in case you want to apply the same effect on other flyers or other church flyers or other flyers all that you need to do is let's go into this particular one let me turn off the texture on this one on top of this one we are going to do the same thing Control shift alt and then e and then it replicates or merges all the layers together now let's bring this one right over here that, that layer and what we can do we don't need the entire layer or we don't need the entire images over here okay you see that effect right over here this effect okay so you can hold alt and then you drag it onto the layer 4 that you copy let's make this layer 4 convert it to smart objects and then we can go to this layer hold alt and then you can drag the effects onto this layer now let's turn this one off and you can see that it has automatically applied that grainy effect this it looks it, it even looks beautiful on this one as well so this is without the green effect and this is with the green effect you get it now to even make this look more beautiful we can bring in the texture so let me just delete this one and quickly show you how to bring it in right from the scratch so first things first you go to file and place embedded then you go to your image or the folder that you have your texture in don't forget that i'll leave links to download this in the description so you are going to bring in your texture effect and you can take time to position it anywhere that you want to position it make sure that it covers the entire canvas though right so once you have it like this you can double click on it now go to the blend mode and set this to soft light okay it's not really looking very good over here so you can decrease the opacity way down somewhere around here so if you turn it off you can see it looks bright if you bring it on it give some depth to it if you don't like the greens too when you turn the greens off you can see what the texture effect is actually doing over here so two things see that you're going to use the texture effect alone like this or you use the green effect like that because they are quite similar in some way or better still if you are going to use the two you just need to make sure that all of them are decreased the opacity is decreased way below so that you can have a feel of all of the two now this is just one of the textures let's bring in another one so let's go to file place embedded and let's bring something like this one this one is more in depth so let's bring this here and we will repeat the same process we go to blend mode and soft light and then we can reduce the opacity entirely so 
this one is going to give you like a dotted kind of green you can see the effect on it dotted kind of greens or dotted kind of patterns on this flyer so we have this we have this texture effect and we have this green effect as well and yes that is it that is how you can easily add greens and texture effects to your flyers in photoshop i hope you get value out of this video don't forget that the resources to this all the textures that are used some are paid some are free i'll leave all of them in the link in the description you can as well google for more if you don't like these ones in case you practice this and you want to let me know send it to any of my social media handles instagram facebook tiktok i'm everywhere i'll be getting value out of this video if you did and subscribe to the channel so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and Bye.